Yo, what is going on you guys? Guess what? It's back. That's right. Harry Potter. What is that? A MacBook Air? How am I even supposed to see that? I'm t look, I'm trying, okay? For some reason, the MacBook Air, it won't cast properly to the TV. Well, I'll get it, all right? I'll get it. It's a work in progress. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, we're using the point of the stag. I grinded out Iron Banner. I want you guys to take a second and appreciate how much I've actually been grinding recently. I did the entire fourth horseman quest. I did the point of the stag quest. I'm literally putting in the effort for you. I'm trying, okay? I want this channel to be the best version of itself, and because of that, guess what? We're bringing back a very special series. We are bringing back the subscriber requested loadouts. Now, Geek, I haven't been around the channel for a while. I don't really know too much about it. Here's the way it's gonna work for the month of April. Because we're all quarantined, and if you're working essential work or you're working in medical, I'm, I'm very sorry for you. Stay safe. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for what you're doing. If you're quarantined at home, though, you have no reason not to leave me a comment down below. I wanna know, during this quarantine, what is your all-time most fun loadout in Destiny 2. I am going to be picking from the comment section and working through... Oh, give me something good. Come on. Nice. Less nice. All right, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your most fun build is. I want to know subclass, weapons, all of it. Hit me up and let me know. But today, we're hopping back in with the point of the stag. I've got my coffee. I'm ready to roll. We're throwing the salt. The beard is coming in strong. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. I've seen the comments about the beard. I know you guys are loving it. And Sean has been killing it with the edits recently. Sean, keep up the good work, buddy. We all appreciate you. So don't forget to leave a like on the video and do a comment. As I said, Harry Potter's back. Sub requested loadouts are back. It's the journey to 200,000 subscribers. Let's get into the gameplay. Man, oh man, the LaCroix Tower. I got a couple more to add to it here. The LaCroix Tower is coming along nicely. I know you guys are checking in, stopping by to see how it's going. I do think if we can get the tower big enough, LaCroix will sponsor me. It may take over this entire room. There is no telling, but so far it's getting getting crazy. I'm going to add one. I'm going to add one. Zone C captured. Enemy claims zone A. Lost the lead. Perfect. All right, so for point of the stag, I figured, you know, what's better to pair with a bow than a sidearm? Am I right? The worst thing ever, an invisible warlock. What are you gonna do against an invisible warlock? Is there a guy camping in? Oh, there were... You Titan, get him out of here. Disgusting. I have been playing a lot of uh, a lot of Titan recently, and it's because I feel like I've been roasting the Titan so much recently that I thought, you know what? I better put it on. So yeah, when you're leaving the comments down below, know that I, uh, I take requests for... Wow, that guy was absolute. That worked out perfectly. I take requests for all three subclasses, and I say that because I don't want uh, I don't want people expecting I only play one subclass. I do like to bounce between the three. I'm usually pretty even, honestly. When it comes to trials, you guys know I lean into Hunter a little more just because I'm comfortable with the mobility. But Top Tree Dawn has been treating me very nicely recently, so you might see a lot more uh, competitively. You might see a lot more Top Tree Dawn. He's right behind that. Le oh, I put the Titan barricade up. I'm just gonna push him. <laughs> Whoop, another Titan. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, team, I just let you down. Yeah, I'm just going to reload mid-fight. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the point of the stag bow, I wanted to make a video on it because I thought Vorpal Weapon on a bow was going to be a really solid perk, but I've used it some prior to filming this video. And I don't know, man. It just, it seems like, especially in sixes, like, how practical is it that uh, you're you're 1v1ing a super and you have time to get a couple of bow shots into him, you know? Like, that's, that's the thing for me took that dude down another one up top yep those headshots though peek it again peek it teammate did i just shoot my teammate in the back are you kidding me so i don't know the bow is the bow you know the thing is they're good but they're they're all the same that's what i found with bows is it feels like every single bow feels exactly the same to me i don't know if you guys feel that way or if it's just my uh my youtuber opinion here but i just feel like they're all similar like name the difference between this bow and there's their whole team here's the heavy ammo i wrapped it up Merry Christmas. I don't know, some bows, like the, the one where you can see through walls or the one with the triple arrows, but for the most part, every bow feels the same. None of them are really a one-shot kill. It's just tough, you know? It's a tough situation, because if you made them a one-shot kill, they would be immediately overpowered. Like, immediately, if that did 190 damage or something, they would be overpowered. No one wants that. I mean, realistically, no one wants that. Oh, how you guys doing out here? Holy cow. Holy. Oh, go! Woo! Let's go! 
Nice job, team! So yeah, I've enjoyed Point of the Stag, but you know, it feels like a, uh, I don't know, it feels like a subtle calamity that does a little more damage to supers. That's what I'm getting at. It doesn't feel that special. So yeah, bows are one of those things that I can't really, uh, I can't really tell you how to fix them. I don't have the solution because you don't want the use rate to be too high, and I feel like right now it's too low. So weird, I'm just glad I'm not in charge of balancing weapons, you know? I'm glad I'm in charge of just making videos with the guns and not actually trying to, uh, oh, that was a headshot, clean. Meow. Got him. Invisible. Here we go. Come here. What is this? Whose man is this? Come back down here. Look. No. Oh, that worked good. Bows as cleanup weapons are actually extremely strong. Extremely strong. Did you see that Titan climb up? Oh, oh no. Go, go. I got to get out. I'll catch you guys later. He's right behind me. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. There's a storm caller. Oh my gosh, go. Go. Yeah. I'm fine. I want to get to a safe spot and pop my super. Safe spot and pop the super. Here we go. How you guys doing? There's one. All right, they're all on zombie. Watch this. Where are yet? Yep. 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 There we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Another one back there. Oh, I hit him with that. Oh, I hit the wall, Mike. What? Who puts a? Why are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? That's Mike with point of the stag. That's the gameplay right there. That's it. Oh, good, good. I will say today we're back on Xbox. I've been uh, I've been hopping between the platforms, trying to get a little uh, a little variety in for you guys. And what I think I'm gonna start doing. Honestly, if I shoot my teammate again with the bow, man. I think honestly what I'm going to start doing is uh, kind of swapping between the platforms and just not really making a big deal out of it. Because I think the problem, I get a lot of hate for playing different platforms. Whether I'm on PC, I get made fun of for not being on console. If I'm on console, I get made fun of for not being on PC where all the good players are. So I'm going to swap between and I'm just not going to say anything to you guys. So you'll probably be able to tell from the quality of the video, but I feel like that's the way to approach it because I'm going to be playing both and I'm going to be posting both. For me, there's... They're similar but different, and they're similar enough to not be like, today we're back on PC. You can tell pretty quickly from the names of the opponents, from the FPS of the gameplay or the resolution of the gameplay. You can tell. I, it, there's no point differentiating when I do plan to stay on Xbox for a majority of the videos. So, now that we got that out of the way, second game. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about Warzone. I called it Warframe, I think, for the entire last video that edited, Sean edited. So that's good. That's a that's a quality YouTuber move right there. But I will say I have been playing a ton of Warzone and I think I'm going to start posting videos for it over on the second channel. You guys know every once in a while I like to do a little resurgence on the second channel. That's the place where I can't promise consistent uploads, but whenever something non-Destiny kind of piques my interest, I will... Uh, how is he playing with one hand? Wow. Take that. Haters will say it's fake. <laughs> so yeah, you can expect some... Uh, uh, you can expect some Warzone videos over on the second channel. I think it's going to be interesting to see how that game plays out. I think there's a lot of hype around that game, but there's also Valorant. Valorant? I'm not pronouncing that game right. And I think a lot of the same audience tends to play both of those games. So it'll be interesting to see the lifespan of one or the other. I do wonder if one's going to be way, way more popular than the other. I think there's a guy. Yep, there he is. Nice. I was going to say, I thought there was a guy right behind there. All right, point of the stag. Let's get it right here. I know you're up there, people. Is there a guy out here as well? Oh, he's right there. He's crouched. Here we go. Invisible Warlock season. Here we go. Probably one of the most devastating things in the game today. An Invisible Warlock. Made that look easy. Thank you, Shax. That's actually really nice of you. There we go. Got that guy down. Get that invis going. I'll drop the healing rift for us, boys. Don't back up too much. I got him. I got him. We're good. Another one? Look at this dude. <laughs> I got him. Nope. Come on in. Come on in. Down here. It's safe. I just went off the map. Good. 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 Push me. Do it. Nice try. All right. We're invisible and we have our super. Our teammate is completely unaware of this guy's presence. All right. It's time. Let's get it. Oh, rip that guy, dude. What? You going to block it back at me? Nah. 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 Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I threw it on the ground. How many times have I died in the arc? Oh, abilities, man. Top tree Dawnblade abilities. Am I right? I will say you guys know I've been playing a ton of top tree Dawn. I am having way more fun with this subclass than I, uh, 
Exactly. Exactly. Than I initially thought I would. I, especially as somebody who's a console main, I didn't have that uh, that high of expectations for it because, uh, for the most part, yeah, that's right. I'm invisible. How are you gonna How are you gonna play that? You're gonna straight line it. I would not recommend that. That is not a good decision. In the tunnel. <laughs> Look at us! But yeah, all that to say, I basically, I've been playing a lot more of it than I thought. It's been uh, extremely fun. And point of the stag! This, this gun is not bad, man. This this weapon is not bad. I haven't found a single super. To, I mean, that was a tether right there. But to test the Vorpal weapon, I just, in sixes, I don't think it's that practical. You know? I feel like uh, the other perks are okay. What is it? Eye of the Storm. Uh, there's some other solid perks. But there's no reason to just absolutely... He missed that shotgun shot. Can you believe it? <laughs> that guy didn't, but that first dude... I will say the one thing I'm most excited about for the uh, the subscriber requested loadouts is to bring back a little bit of variety. I feel like uh, recently I've had a hard time figuring out exactly what I want to rock for the videos, you know. But maybe this will give me some uh, some good options for uh, for loadouts for the next month or so because I think there's a lot of options. The problem is just figuring out what's one what's going to be entertaining to watch and two what you guys are actually using in the Crucible. Don't just put spare rations, mind benders. That's not going to be fun for anybody. Let me see if I can flank this and pop the super right here. Do what? Do you want a panini for lunch? Do you want a what? Panini. Sure. Do you want me to just pick it? Yeah, that's fine. Are you asking me during a video if I want I'm a panini? Sorry. I'm trying to film. Free delivery expires in a minute. Free delivery? All right, order the panini, Haley. It's worth it. Oh, that was a good uh, little flick of the wrist right there on him. All right, I hear a super. Let's see. That is one uh, combo I didn't realize bows were so good at right there. Is the uh, bow and melee combo? That works so well. We lost by 50. Oh my gosh. We had 30. That's not bad. I mean, we had most kills in the lobby barely over Kingslayer. Barely. All right, guys. That is going to do it for me. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys would like to see soon. And uh, I guess it's time for a panini. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell if you haven't, check out the second channel for Warzone and other content, and uh, catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Peace.